Hi students, welcome to Global Online Kannada. This is Gauri and in today's session we are going to see KSOU PhD Common Entrance Test Research Methodology MCQs and in today's session we are going to see what is keyness and kurtosis in research methodology by using MCQs. So whenever we represent data by using graph okay then there will be the concept which comes and those are skewness and kurtosis so both of these are the concepts which are relevant to the data presentation by using graph okay so whenever there is lots of amounts of data at certain places in graph and there is a low amount of data in certain places in the graph so whenever these concepts arrived then they are relevant to skewness and kurtosis in research and i have covered all the concepts which is relevant to skewness and kurtosis in research methodology by using mcqs okay so students you need to watch this session until the end so that all of your concepts will get clear on this topic and this is our 20th lecture and you will be asking at least one to two mcqs on this topic in phd common entrance test okay students let us begin with this session now so students all of you know that karnataka state open universities phd common entrance test 2023 will be on 23rd july right and in this phd common entrance test you will be asking 50% mcqs from the research methodology and 50% mcqs from concern subject so to qualify this entrance test all of the students need to score more marks in research methodology section and as well in the concerned paper subject okay so students to score more marks in research methodology we that is global online team provides you research methodology complete course by the use of this complete course all the candidates can guaranteed qualify phd common entrance test so in this course we provide you full syllabus video lectures under which theory and mcq lecture both are available we provide you full syllabus notes and mock tests we have 10 mock tests like this and each mock test contains 40 mcqs and that's why overall all the students can solve 400 mcqs we provide you more than 1500 mcqs revision pdf so by the use of this revision pdf all the candidates can revise all the topics in this pdf only and that's why they'll be, be getting 80% mcqs from this pdf only out of 100% mcqs in the research methodology paper of phd common entrance test so all of these study material are available in both the languages and those are hindi and english both so students if you want to buy this complete course then either you can download the global online app from the play store for which i have given the link in the description box of this video or else students can be contact me through the whatsapp numbers which are i have given on this screen so students the course fees are only 699 and in this low fees we provide guaranteed selection to all the candidates that they can guaranteed qualify the phd common entrance test and take the admission to the phd at the university so students we have demo video lectures we have demo mock tests and you can give demo mock tests and watch video lectures that to demo video lectures free of cost on the global online app and after that they can buy the complete course okay so this research methodology complete course is nothing but the research methodology revision package for all the students and after that obviously they can study very well research methodology subject by this research methodology complete course okay let us start with our today's session now what is the skewness of a normal distribution okay so students the meaning of skewness means asymmetry okay asymmetry and normal distribution means it has a symmetrical uh, you know data distribution symmetrical data distribution means whenever you draw the graph and whenever you you know um, plot different uh, data distributions over here then your plot will be like this and that's why whenever you make the two halves of this curve then the left and right side of the uh, you know uh, uh, two halves of the curve will be equal and it means that it is actually normally distributed data and that's why it has a proper symmetry and asymmetry means both of these sides are not equal and that's why skewness of a normal distribution obviously it would be zero because there is no asymmetry there is only asymmetry that's why your correct answer should be zero okay zero 
now next is what is the formula for measuring skewness in a data set so whenever we want to you know measure the skewness in a data set then there is a proper formula for that and we need to answer that formula which is the formula from these options so whether it is mean minus median whether it is mode minus median whether it is 3 in bracket mean minus median upon standard deviation or whether it is mean minus mode upon standard deviation okay so students the common measure of skewness is the pearson's moment ski or uh, you know coefficient of skewness so the measure of skewness is called as pearson's pear sons moment moment coefficient coefficient of skewness and the formula is 3 in bracket mean minus median upon standard deviation okay and that's why your correct answer should be 3 that is 3 under bracket mean minus median upon standard deviation okay this we provide ksou phd common entrance test 2023 paper to study material to the all the candidates so that they can score more marks in paper 2 that is in concerned subject so in this we provide full syllabus notes and mcqs and in the mcq section we provide most expected and most repeated mcqs and as well pyqs by the use of them all the candidates can guaranteed score more marks in paper 2 and after that they can qualify the phd common entrance test at ksou so the subjects that i have mentioned on this screen so on all of these subjects we provide paper to study material so if you want study material for any other subject then you can ask me in the comment box the fees for paper to study material are only 999 and in this low fees we provide guaranteed selection to all the candidates that they can guaranteed qualify phd common entrance test so to join paper 1 and paper 2 courses students can contact me through the whatsapp numbers only that i have mentioned on the screen a third is if a variable has three values minus k 0 and 3k with corresponding frequencies as 3k 2k and k respectively then the value of coefficient of skewness b1 or beta1 is what so here they have asked you to calculate the value of coefficient of skewness beta1 so i mean to say they have asked you to calculate this value pearson's moment coefficient okay which is actually denoted by beta1 and they have given you certain uh, you know data and the data is you know there are three variables okay and the values of those variables are minus k 0 and 3k and their corresponding frequencies are given so for minus k value the frequency is 3k for 0 the frequency is 2k and for 3k the frequency is k so now students now let us first of all make a proper table of this so first of all x is your uh, you know particular value of a data set then f its its frequency then fx would be multiplication of f with x then x minus x bar means data set value minus its mean so x bar means uh, the mean of the whole data set okay then again x minus x bar bracket square then f into x minus x bar bracket square okay then here i'll write x minus x bar bracket cube and the last one will be f into x minus x bar bracket cube so actually we need to calculate all these uh, you know uh, points or values first of all because all of these points are Uh, you know uh, actually we need it for our further calculation so first of all let us write down the values of x which is minus k 0 3k and their corresponding frequencies will be minus 3k 2k and k and now do the multiplication of f with x so it will become sorry this this is actually 3k right yeah 3k this is 3k so it will become minus 3k square 0 and it will 3k square okay and do the total of this at the end so here the total of this will be 6k the total of this will be 0 the total of uh, sorry sorry x again so let us do the total of 
this uh, frequency so it will be 6k okay and the frequency uh, sorry the total of this fx will be 0 okay fine so we know we actually don't need to total of this okay so now first of all let us find out the mean of the whole data set so whenever we need to find out the mean of the whole data set then the formula is mean is equal to x bar is equal to summation of fx upon capital n so now fx will be this fx okay and its summation summation means the summation of all these values and capital n means total number of observations which are three because there are three values of the variable right so it will be zero upon three will be zero and that's why the mean value will be zero now let us find out the mode mode means the value which occurred frequently in the whole data set or the value which has the highest frequency in the whole data set so here you can uh, you can see over here that 3k is the highest frequency right and this is the frequency of minus k okay and that's why your mode will be minus k okay now we need to find out the another values which are mu2 mu3 okay here mu2 and mu3 okay both of these are called as the central actually coefficients and these are really very important to all of us because these concepts are there in the skewness actually and you don't need to go in depth within it you need only understand the formula behind it so the value of mean that is zero is actually your mu1 okay which is mean here and after that you need to find out the value of mu2 and mu3 which are actually the movement of coefficient like that okay basically they are called as movement of coefficient so don't uh, you know uh, go depth to it so let us find out now the values of x minus x bar so it will be minus k here it will be 0 it will be 3k and their total will be 2k now let us do x minus x bar bracket square then it will be k square 0 and 9k square and their summation will be 10k square now do f into x minus x bar bracket square then it will be uh, k square uh, sorry uh, 3k cube then 0 then 9k cube and then 12k cube now f in bracket x minus x bar bracket uh, sorry uh, first of all find out the value of x minus x bar bracket cube so the value will be minus k raised to 3 then 0 then uh, na uh, then 27 k cube and then their total will be 26 k cube and the at the last find the value of f into x minus x bar bracket cube okay so over here the values will be minus 3 k raised to 4 then 0 will be as it is 0 then 27 k raised to 4 and their total will be 24 k raised to 4 okay now let us find out the value of mu2 okay so i will write the other values over here okay so the value of mu2 will be summation of f in bracket x minus x bar bracket square upon capital n okay so now here you need the other value so now let us find out what is summation of x minus x bar bracket square so yeah so it is what 12 k cube okay this is 12 k cube and you are capital N will be 6k in this situation so here 6k okay because you need over here the summation of f okay not the summation of basically the you know all the numbers like capital N so you need over here 12k cube upon 6k so why we took here 6k because there is summation of f okay there is summation of f Th there is not only capital N all of you understood and that's why the mu2 value will be 2k square okay now let us find out the value of mu3 which equal to summation of f under bracket x minus x cube back, uh, bracket cube upon capital N so now let us see over here what is the value of summation of uh, f into bracket x minus x bar bracket cube so which is 24 k raised to 4 now all of you understood and that's why it will become 24 
k raised to 4 upon 6k as it is 6k so it will become 4k cube okay so now whenever you need to find out the coefficient of skewness that is beta 1 so its formula is mu 3 square upon mu 2 cube so now here you have found out the values of mu 3 and mu 2 now substitute these values in this formula then at the end you get the values 16 k raised to 6 upon 8 k raised to 6 which equal to 2 so that's why your correct answer to this question should be 2 okay all of you understood I, I know that this is little bit difficult to understand but whenever you solve such kind of questions at least two to three times then you will understand exactly what they are going to say and how it can be solved okay now let us go to the next question in a negatively skewed distribution so whenever there is a negatively skewed distribution then what will happen okay so students whenever there is you know skewness and which, which is negative then in that situation mean is smaller than median so mean value is basically smaller than median okay and distribution has large tail of small values so there are small values of the data but they will be having a large tail all of you getting and that's why whenever there is negatively skewed distribution then in that uh, situation mode is greater than median which is greater than mean and that's why your correct answer would be 2 because here mode is greater than median and median is greater than mean okay now next is if the distribution is negatively skewed then the so again they have asked you the similar question but the options are different mean is more than the mode median is at right to the mode mean is less than the mode mean is at right to the median so as i have told earlier in the question for that in this situation basically mean is smaller than median and median is smaller than mode and that's why your correct answer would be 3 because ultimately your mean value will be less than mode in the negatively skewed distribution okay the first four raw movements of distribution are 2 okay 136 320 and 40,000 the coefficient of skewness is now again here in this question they have asked you to calculate the coefficient of skewness but they have given you four raw moments of distribution so actually there we have seen mu1 mu2 mu3 mu4 right in the last uh, previous question so in that question they are called as basically the central movements or the central coefficient movements but here they have given given you the values of raw moments so by the values of raw moments now we need to calculate the values of central moments so first of all write the values of raw moments now let us assume mu1 slash is equal to 2 then mu2 slash is equal to 136 mu3 slash is equal to 320 and mu4 slash is equal to 40,000 so now let us find out the values of central moments now mu1 is your first central moment so mu1 is equal to mu slash 1 which is equal to 2 okay the formula is actually same okay now whenever you need to calculate the value of mu2 then for that the formula is mu2 slash minus mu1 slash bracket square and that's why your correct value for the similar which is equal to 132 now let us find out the value of mu3 which is equal to mu3 slash minus 3 cross mu2 slash mu1 slash plus 2 in bracket mu1 slash bracket cube okay and whenever you calculate all these things whenever you substitute the values of other materials like mu3 slash mu2 slash mu1 slash then you will finally get the value which is equivalent to minus 40 480 sorry 480 okay now let us find out the values of mu4 which is equal to mu4 slash minus 4 cross mu1 slash cross mu3 slash plus 6 cross mu2 slash in bracket mu1 slash bracket square minus 3 mu1 slash raised to 4 okay then 
again substitute the values of these materials then finally you will get the value of mu4 which is equivalent to 40656 and according to the formula that i have uh, told you earlier in this uh, video the coefficient of skewness which is denoted by beta1 is equal to mu3 square upon mu2 cube okay and that's why your correct value for the same which equal to minus 480 bracket square upon 132 cube and that's why your correct answer for this question should be 4 because minus 480 bracket square upon 132 cube so i can give you one trick for this so here they have given you a raw moment uh, for fourth The, uh, you know fourth raw moment so which is 40000 so when you don't calculate the central moment for this value then it will be okay because you don't need that value in your final uh, you know answer because uh, you know within the beta 1 formula there is no mu 4 right you need to calculate only mu 3 and mu 2 so it is sufficient so you don't waste time in calculating the mu 4 Okay, I have calculated it because I want to tell you the formula. Okay, but it is not necessary. So take into consideration these things. Now, for a frequency distribution of a variable x, mean is equal to thirty-two and median is thirty. So now the distribution is. Now there is a uh, you know frequency distribution of a variable x, and they have given you the values of mean which is thirty two and median is thirty. So now what kind of distribution would it be? Whether it would be positively skewed distribution or a negatively skewed distribution or mesocurutic or platy curutic. Okay. So students, uh, now let us see. find out first of all the value of mode as we have seen earlier in the previous video of central tendency measures of central tendency the relationship between mean mode and median is that mode is equal to 3 cross median minus 2 mean right so here they have given you the values of median and mean now substitute these values in this then after that you will get the value of mode which is equivalent to 26 and now here whenever you see these values mean 32 median 30 and mode 26 then you will understand that mode value is less than median value which is again less than mean value and that's why this would be the positively skewed distribution because in the positively skewed distribution the value of mean is greater than median and the value of median is greater than mode but in negatively skewed distribution uh, exactly opposite occurs the value of mean is less than median the value of median is less than mode okay that's why your correct answer over here should be 1 and mesocurutic and platy curutic distributions are the types of curtosis and that i'm going to tell you in the next part of this video okay If the data are skewed, which option of central tendency measure is the most unreliable indicator? So whenever the data is skewed, I mean to say whenever the data distribution is asymmetrical, then in that situation, which measure of central tendency is unreliable indicator? So whether mean is unreliable indicator or median or mode, because range is not a measure of central tendency. This is the measure of dispersion. Okay. so there are only three measures of central tendency and those are mean median and mode so students now let us see the definition of skewness what is the definition of skewness so skewness is measure of asymmetry of probability distribution of real valued random variable about its mean okay and that's why the mean value will get affected whenever the data is skewed and that's why in this situation mean will be unreliable indicator okay and that's why your correct answer should be one that is mean okay now next is a distribution with a kurtosis which is greater than 3 is known as now there is a distribution and which has a kurtosis value which is greater than 3 then what kind of distribution it would be whether it would be platy curutic mesocurutic leptocurutic or excess kurtosis so students as we have seen skewness so like skewness there is a kurtosis but kurtosis exactly tells you how long the data distribution at the tail point and at the peak point 
so for example there is a graph and there is a curve so kurtosis means what how you know data is distributed towards the tail part and towards the peak part okay so whenever there is a more data which is distributed to the tail part then obviously this curve will be having more tail and whenever there is more data distributed at the peak part then it means that there is more peak okay all of you getting and this is nothing but the kurtosis i mean to say the measurement of this kind of you know thing is called as kurtosis okay now students let us see the different types of kurtosis so plateau kurtic meso kurtic lipto kurtic and excess kurtosis these are the common types of kurtosis okay now whenever there is plateau kurtic uh, you know uh, data distribution then in that situation the kurtosis value is negative and here the tails are thin okay so these tails will be thin than the normal distribution and whenever there is a mesocurtic or uh, distribution then in that case the uh, the value of kurtosis will be equal to 3 okay and when wherever there is liptocurtic distribution then in that situation the value of kurtosis will be greater than 3 okay more than 3 and liptocurtic distribution is the kind of distribution uh, in which basically the peak has a pointer and um, the tails are fatter okay than a normal distribution not thinner and whenever there is excess kurtosis then in this in this situation tailedness of distribution is relatable to normal distribution okay and again the mesocurtic distribution is again very relatable to the normal distribution okay and that's why your correct answer for this uh, you know answer uh, question should be three liptocurtic because here the kurtosis has the value which is greater than three that is more than three okay that's why your correct answer should be three which of the following distributions has a higher kurtosis so here they have given certain uh, names of distribution that is data distribution and which of the you know these distributions has a higher kurtosis but uh, i mean to say has a higher value of kurtosis so whether it is normal distribution whether it is t distribution whether it is uniform distribution whether it is a chi square distribution so students whenever there is you know uniform distribution which has the kurtosis value which is equivalent to 1.8 whenever there is normal distribution the kurtosis value is equal to 3 okay whenever there is t distribution which has kurtosis which is greater than in normal distribution which is basically you can say more than 3 and whenever there is chi square distribution then it has the highest value of kurtosis and that's why your correct answer should be 4 okay because chi square distribution has the highest value of kurtosis okay fine so students thank you for watching this session i hope all of you understood everything whatever i have explained to you so but still if you have any doubts you can ask me in the comment box of this video okay